Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Well, everybody's favorite NDP star, Jagmeet Singh, was back on television today, proving once again just how out of touch he is with what's going on in the world and how Canadians feel, and uh, being out of touch as to what the possible solutions are. Well, without any further ado, let's have a listen to see what he had to say. I'll be popping in here and there to make some commentaries. Here we go. Bonjour. Thank you. Good morning. I want to talk about what a lot of Canadians are worried about, what a lot of Canadians are feeling when they go to buy groceries or what they feel when they go to fill up their cars. The cost of everything is going up. The cost of gas has now hit about $2 or more for people across the country, $2 a liter or more. We're seeing the cost of groceries so high that families are, are trying to find discounts and deals to get enough, uh, the food they want to celebrate Mother's Day or to, to go and visit a family member, they have to think twice, can I do the road trip to go visit my, my parents or to visit my grandparents? Is it possible? Can I afford it? Uh, families that were planning for maybe road trips this summer to visit relatives that are further away are now rethinking if they can afford it. It's, it's seriously hitting families and they're, and they're wondering what's going on and, and how can they, can they can afford to, to live their lives now with, with the cost of living going so high. Two things wrong with that statement. Uh, number one, it's not just for special occasions like Mother's Day that people are looking for deals at the grocery store, buying liquidated items, uh, buying specials only. It's to feed their family on a day-to-day -day basis, Mr. Saying, not for special occasions like Mother's Day. The second problem with what he just said is people aren't concerned about the price of gas. And he's right, it's, it's over $2 right here in Quebec, 205.9 this morning. It's not so that they can take road trips or have a nice time or go visit family. People are starting to question whether they can afford to drive their own butts to work every day. That's where it's gone. It's not a little increase. It's not a 20% increase, not a 30% increase. Gas at an acceptable level, I think, in this country would be about a buck a liter. It's over twice the acceptable level right now, Mr. Singh. So don't try to tell anybody that people are struggling to figure out whether they can afford a road trip this summer or to go on a little vacation or do this or do that. No. People are starting to have problems getting their butts to and from work every day. That's where it's gotten to. And that, Mr. Singh, is how out of touch with what's going on you really are. Now that I've gotten that off my uh, chest, let's go back to the video and see what else he had to say. And at the same time, while, while people are struggling, you know, families are struggling, workers are struggling, people are, are hurting. At the same time, we see these gas companies, these oil and gas companies, posting record profits. Imperial Oil has experienced its highest profit in 30 years. Synovus increased its profit sevenfold, seven times in one year. And Suncor has jumped profits uh, three times. It's three times higher uh, than previous year. So we're seeing significant and record profits for these large oil and gas companies. At the same time, we're seeing grocery corporate, corporate grocery companies or grocery stores also posting huge profits. So... We see the cost of living going up. And anytime the cost of living goes up, there are winners and losers. The winners are these large corporations, the CEO, the shareholders, those at the very, very top are benefiting from the inflation. And we see families hurting. They are hurting because of this inflation. The cost of living is hurting families, crunching their budgets, making it impossible to do the things that they want to do, to be able to buy the food that they love or their family enjoys, to be able to travel and visit relatives that they want to visit. That's the reality. Well, he may very well be right on that fact. Oil companies are making more money now than they were a year ago. But here's the thing. A year ago you were still basically shutting down the country. People couldn't go to work. People couldn't go out uh, anywhere. They couldn't go visit family. It, it was forbidden to go visit a, a family member. Couldn't have gatherings. People weren't driving. People that could stay at home to work stayed at home to work. People that couldn't stay at home to work basically lost their jobs. So there was no demand for gas back then. That's why profits were, were so low a year ago. Remember, it wasn't that long ago the profits were so bad 
and things were so bad in this country that oil was selling for zero. That's right, they were trying to give it away. So don't give me this baloney that it's all because of the evil corporations that the price of gas is getting so high. That's not the fact. The fact is they were making such horrible profits a year ago because the country was shut down because of the government mandates and lockdowns. That's why the prices seem so high today and that you're trying to blame it on the oil companies making record profits. Notice what he said. Every time he mentioned the seven times or the three times, it was all over last year. Well, that's right. It's uh, in the, A year ago, it was pretty bad for them. Uh, like I said, there's zero dollar old barrels of oil. They couldn't give it away. Now, people are starting to get back out there because some of the measures have been relaxed. People are starting to get back to work, so the prices are going up. That's a natural course of things. But don't, don't blame it on the corporations. Blame it on yourself. Let's go back to the video and see what other garbage he has to say. At the same time, as the cost of living has gone up and inflation has gone up, we've also seen that government revenue has gone up. Uh, GSD, for example, has gone up. Because as the cost of things go up, the GSD revenue for government has gone up. And so what we're saying in response to inflation, when the cost of living goes up, the only response we've seen from most governments is to increase interest rates, which again, makes it harder for families. People are frustrated with that. And, and I put a question forward. Why is it that when the cost of living goes up, when inflation goes up, the only people that suffer are people and workers and families? Why is it that the only response? Why can't it be that we actually say, you know what, when the cost of living goes up, particularly when we know that it benefits corporations, that those corporations pay their fair share that we put in place an excess profit tax on those companies that are enjoying record profits or much higher profits as a result of the cost of living going up, and that we take those profits and invest those back into people in a meaningful way. And so what we're proposing today, the whole point of the GST tax credit was to offset the fact that GST impacts families harder than it impacts those at the, the very top, the ultra wealthy. And so the whole purpose and spirit of the GST tax credit was to equalize that to help families out. So what we're saying is this, specifically in concrete, let's put forward a, a excess profit tax. The, the liberals are proposing something similar for banks and insurance companies. We support that. Let's expand that to include grocery stores, uh, corporate grocery stores and, and oil and gas companies and anyone that's made an excess profit in this time and put that revenue towards two specific and concrete measures. Let's increase the Canadian child benefit by $500 per year and increase the GST tax credit also by $500 per year. This would specifically help families about $1,000 at the highest or $500. That's real help to people right now. And it tackles the, the fundamental question in an inflation, why is it that the wealthy companies get to make more and families have to suffer? And why do governments allow that to happen? The whole point of government is to, to level that to ensure that companies aren't gouging or exploiting a difficult time and the families aren't being hurt. So let's tax the excess profits and invest those back into people with increased child benefit and an increased GSE tax credit. This will help 40% of Canadians. Millions of people will get the help they need and people that need help the most will get it. That's what we're proposing today.